Muy buenas chavales, ¿cómo estáis? Bienvenidos de nuevo al canal Bienvenidos de nuevo a una nueva aventura Estamos con un charte 2 Ya que al principio nos pasamos el 4 Ahora con el The Nathan Drake Collection Nos hemos pasado el 1 Vamos a ir con el 2 Y vamos a ir a ver qué nos encontramos Vamos allá No conté ni la mitad de haberlo visto, sabiendo bien que no me creerían. Marco Polo, en su lecho de muerte, 1324. ¿Ya estás herido? ¿No ha el juego todavía? Empieza bien Madre mía, a ver qué ha pasado Usa el joystick para volar a Drake Capítulo 1, entre la espada y la pared Vale, vamos A ver, hacia el lado A ver si, supongo que por el lateral, ¿no? Podremos subir Vamos por el otro lado Vale, por aquí sí Venga Madre mía, Nathan, te pasa de todo, tío Vale, por aquí no puedes ir Pero, tío ¿Pero quieres pasar ahí al lateral? El tío no subía Madre mía Venga, otra vez para arriba Vale, encima hacemos como otra vez el tutorial o algo así Toda la gente del tren, no, eso no estaba él. ¿Y el resto de gente? ¿Qué ha pasado? Eh, me parece a mí que tú no sales de aquí, ¿eh? Madre mía, esa enganchada lateral un poco fantasmilla ha sido, ¿eh? Hostia, tío, le, este pavo, de verdad ¿Qué habrá pasado, tío? ¿Se habrá ido con el oro Que conseguimos en el anterior, ¿no? ¿O... Venga, hemos subido un vagón Y este vagón se va a caer
A ver cuánto dura el vagón ahí. Venga, ahí están. No está mal para empezar el juego, ¿eh? La verdad es que no está mal. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. And I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone, it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. Go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's... Why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of the, the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> todo. Seguramente todo. Mira, ¿de dónde estás?
Vale, vamos a darle un poquito. Venga, vamos a darle chicha. A ver qué nos encontramos. Venga. Uy, que se cae. No. Pero con la suerte que tenemos, el árbol se me cae encima. Vale, arma no llevo. O sea que de momento enemigos no la vamos a encontrar. Hombre, el detallico este de la nieve mola, ¿eh? Vale, arma. Joder, antes lo digo. Primer tesoro, recompensa desbloqueada. A ver, inspecciona. Estatua de Sara... Sarasvati. Uno de 100. Vamos a ver si consigo pasar el juego con 10. Porque yo y los tesoros no nos solemos llevar muy bien. Y me suelo quedar siempre... Vale, tengo balas. Me parece que en el 4 terminé con... 20 o así. No, no estoy seguro, ¿eh? 14, no, 14 o 15. Con el 1... Me parece que fueron 7 de 60. O 6 de 60. A ver cuántos terminamos aquí. ¿En serio? ¿En serio, tío? Ya tengo... Ya empieza esto así Ah, no, para arriba Vale, tengo... Hay que subir A saber qué me voy a encontrar, tío. <risas> Madre mía, tiene que tener la espalda ya. En serio, y te vas a levantar así como si nada Vale, tubo amarillo O sea que Nos tocará escalar Really? Mostly professional. No. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm -hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me.
Madre mía, tío, estás hecho polvo, eh Vale, tengo que llegar allí Pero si salto Me voy a morir, seguro Pues creo que tengo que saltar, ¿no? Porque No me deja por aquí, no hacer nada A ver, ¿y si, sal ¿y si paso por aquí? No Me la voy a jugar Me voy a morir, pero... No, es que ni de coña llegas, tío Ni de coña A ver, tres, una, dos y... Alejo ¿En serio? Madre mía, ya he llegado Saltos más pequeños en el 1 Te morías, eh Tío, te pasa de todo, macho Estambul, cuatro meses antes. You sure you're up for this? Feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. Este tío nos va a traicionar. That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Right. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. I'm sure you know where you're going. Don't I always? Episodio 2. Allanamiento de morada. 